Sonia Barrett here again, and I wanted to talk a little bit today about um, the work, the the work world, the idea of going to work, um, the idea of a nine to five, uh, working in corporate America, or just working for someone. And the reason why I decided to pick that topic is because it I've had lots of emails on it questions um, and and plus I can relate very well to that whole idea or feeling of having to go into work and not liking the routine of it not liking the idea of having to answer to someone you know I I have been there with it and some of you have heard my story about transitioning from um, the work world on a couple of occasions um, but you know, without going into into my story um, again, I, I will definitely tell you this: working um, for someone else or going into a job. What I learned was that it was really an extension of school. That's what I learned. I learned that I was really just in another huge another level of of schooling and um, in the, the very last part of um, me going back into corporate America because I was away from it for a while I worked for myself and it was at the time a lot of uh, challenges lots of struggles I mean I did that for about 11 years and then there was a day that came where I had to make a decision and the decision was that I would go back to work. Now, for me, understand this: going back into an office what, would just literally make me nauseous. <laughs> going, the idea that I had to go back into an office and they're, you know, they're going to tell me what time to take my lunch and all that, just was completely opposed to it. But what I did learn, what I knew, um, and I and I was not at the level of awareness that I am right now, the things that I understand um, to this this degree. But what I did know was that my going back into the uh, corporate America, going back into the work world, um, I needed to learn some discipline. I needed to learn some structure. Now, structure does not mean restriction and control. It doesn't mean that. This, these are all things that you're learning for yourself and that's where you have to take it. You have to always, what am I always saying? It comes back to you. And most often when we think of work, when we think of going into a job, when we think of how much we dislike it, we really tend to project um, most of the dislike to the out there to um, you know to to everybody else and you know what they're doing but the truth of it is is going back into the work world or being there is really just an extension of school I realized that I was going back in because I needed to learn those things I needed to learn that because uh, of all the things that I actually had gone through and, and, and experienced even in being a, being an entrepreneur because I lacked the discipline I lacked um, you know the the uh, certain skills then and and I forgot the other word that I had used but discipline was definitely um, a, a huge one and and some structure now I'm a person that does not like structure which is why you know I <laughs> make no commitment to I'm gonna post these videos every single week okay so structure doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna have to restrict yourself but you need uh, discipline and you need some structure that a different concept of, of those two words in anything that you do in this this conscious movement in this awareness that you're seeking for for yourself in this uh, spiritual expansion that you're seeking it requires commitment it requires drive and it requires those two words once again and 
that is what later I, I really realized just how much I was able to convert um, who I had become or those things that I now learned when I went back into the big school of the work world, how I was able to really um, convert that over to my own expansion and my commitment to expanding. And even now into what I do now, um, which obviously it is working for uh, myself, but of course I don't really consider it work like that anymore because I'm doing something that I really love. Um, what I also learned was that it wasn't about hating the job or where you are, um, you know, or the people. What you learn is that you are in control. You are there because you choose to be there. And that, to me, was the most profound gift that I could give to myself is that awareness. And too often when we are in these work situations, we, we tend to almost think that our employer is making us be there or, or somebody's making us be there and of course we're saying but yeah but we got to pay the bills you know okay but even to pay your bill is a choice every single thing you do is a choice and when I got that because I knew I would be in that work environment I had never lasted on a job for probably more than I, I don't know eight months because as soon as somebody looked at me the wrong way or said something to me um, you know that I didn't care for I thought okay I, I can't be here I, I, I gotta move on and I would have what you would would be defined as great jobs um, in the same same field uh, so I needed to really cement these things and and really see myself as to how I was navigating through this this whole experience and the fact that uh, I would end up getting more of what I didn't want um, bec you know because of, of how I interpreted um, being there and so it was really essential in me realizing that everything that I was doing in my life was really choice and sometimes we we feel we tend to think that oh but I don't have a choice you have a choice you okay you're choosing and I, and I'm telling you the things that I had to say to myself and start and realizing yeah you 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 choose to pay your rent or your mortgage you choose to live under a roof you choose to have to get a hot shower nobody's making you do any of these things you're choosing not to sleep on a park bench you're choosing not to maybe sleep in a shelter and if you are in a shelter on a park bench it is choice there are choices that we make in our lives and it's really necessary that we begin to own that that we really begin to bring that back to ourselves um, we are we are at these jobs not for what the reasons we think we think we're there to get the money but what I learned in a huge way that it wasn't about that it was really about the environment, the people that I would meet, the interactions that I would have, the relationships that I would have, um, the moments of dislike, uh, you know, that I would go through, the coworker you didn't get along with, the coworker that tried to watch everything you did so they could, you know, complain on you, or you know, or you you butt heads with people, um, or the people that you did like, the connections that probably you made um, that would work at some point maybe in assisting you with transitioning out of there it's all about the experience in the uh, in that matrix because that's what it is it's a work matrix that you're in and to me it is so profound to realize that because you take your power back you know uh, there, there are things that I learned uh, that certainly simplified it where I was able to be there for very uh, for it was almost four years. That was that was huge for me, because I learned how to not feel as if anybody's controlling me, and um, and I respected the environment that I was in. Uh, I got I did get there on time because I didn't want anybody to say anything to me. I don't want to ever be reprimanded. I I want you to say nothing to me about 
what I'm doing or not doing. Um, I did my job exactly as I agreed to do it. No more, no less. Didn't take work home. Didn't work over. Didn't work over. I wouldn't have got paid over anyway because it was salary. Um, but I but I handled it in in a way that the people that were uh, head the head ones um, had to respect me. I didn't refer to anybody as my boss. Uh, I never do. Um, what I see is a partnership. I've always seen that. Now, maybe they might not see it that way, but it's important that you realize that you're in a partnership and that you have as much right to basically fire your job <laughs> by leaving it as much as they have a right to fire you. So this this all comes down to interpretation. You know, how do you perceive this situation? Because if if you don't begin to perceive it that way, that you are creating this whole experience, you will continue to feel trapped. And you will leave from that experience to the next, next experience, and you will still feel trapped. All of it is our, by our own design. Well, I've got to feed my kids. All of it is, you know, is, is choice. Um, the other thing is that we're afraid to speak up. Um, because you're scared that you're going to lose your job. That was not a challenge for me because I had already made decisions or commitment to myself that what I stand for is what I stand for and that does not change. And if for whatever reason I, I was forced to quit or if they fired me, um, it was all good because I would get another job. So there are certain things that I maintained and they came to respect that. They felt that I was the model the model employee because I come in on time, I get the work done, and I'm out of there. Uh, so again, it was all how I chose to uh, interpret this. And then the point came where I was now feeling like, okay, I got, I got it now. Um, the, I think that the, the defining moment actually was when I said to myself, that nobody was making me be here. That was the most freeing experience for me. Um, what is it that I, is there anything I have um, that is worth me being miserable? Because now I really was ready to leave. Is there anything that I that I own that is worth me being this miserable? And I thought, okay, well, you gotta pay for your car. Um, um, you know, all these things. It's like, okay, well, that's choice. Okay, but so you may not have a place to sleep. My thought was, okay, worst case scenario, maybe I sleep in the car. None of that happened, of course, but in my mind, I had to take it all the way through all my fears of why you thought you think you need to hang on to this job or your fear of somebody firing you so you so you don't hold your own. Holding your own does not mean um, going off on, on anybody. It's just holding your own in terms of what you you know what what your core those core things that that you have um, that you you know that you don't move from that found a foundation there's a foundation that that you hold about what your boundaries are on some things and um, and so people that say well I stayed because I was afraid to lose my job and my um, my retirement and, and all that stuff and what I see with those people a lot of times those people end up sick they end up either retiring and then they're sick um, behind all that they just took in and didn't express and suffocated themselves so again you have to look at what you've told yourself why you're there but it's all about you and learning it's a big school we go through kindergarten and elementary school, and you go to high school, and you go to college. This is the, the work world is just the next level of school. That's all it is. And when you get that, um, and you start thinking about what is it that I really want to do? What are some of the things that I really want to do? And you start charting, marking those things down. And you look at what is it that's holding me back from doing those things. You know, and you, you, you just start taking a different course and you take the power back from putting it out there or appear to put it out there in terms of um, 
the company you work for and the people at the office you know just start changing your perception of all of it and I tell you with the biggest time the, the, the moment of transition really comes when you get that piece that you're there it's all choice it is the most freeing thing and if you love your job fine everybody doesn't have to be an entrepreneur everybody doesn't have to do that it's okay and it, and and to hate you know the, going to work that's a, just an experience too the whole idea of feeling that way it's just an experience too but when you come into the realization of its purpose everything serves a purpose and you're obviously part of it for a reason in this moment you're part of it for a reason and when you stop hating it so much and you stop hating it and convert that energy into redefining it um, reinterpreting in it interpreting it and changing your perception um, of being there and deciding what it is that you uh, would rather be doing and finding ways to put to possibly do that then it's time to transition otherwise you will move from that experience into the into another job where we, where you will continue to feel the same way so I hope this helps I learned a lot from that arena from the work world and um, now yes I, I was able to take like I said that discipline certain things and uh, just put it towards who I am right now and my commitment to uh, my expansion and um, yeah discipline and and all of that discipline without restriction at the same time um, so anyway visit uh, my website spiritinform.com and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, let me know uh, what you think alright take care and love your day to the best of your ability because it's all just a game yeah it is